that are known as schist and they're all foliated and beautiful and they have really nice minerals in them like gemstones like known as garnets and stuff and I think that's fascinating so yeah probably you can really that. see it in New York because you get to Central Park and yeah. all of a sudden you've got all these big stones yeah that's all that's what I'm talking about those rocks it's called Manhattan schist and it's so pretty so if you go to New York like and obviously like have just a look at these rocks they're brilliant and there's faults running through them and there's like veins running through them and I'm just like is that what you did when you went to Central Park then? Or? Yeah, I yeah. spent like a good hour and a half in Central Park just walking through it and my dad and my sister were just looking at me like, what's wrong with you? And then we went to the Natural History Museum and that's where we were going and I spent like four hours in the rock section, just the rock section. And what, do, you, do you not want to go see the rest of the, the museum, Louisa? No. I'm happy no, with I just, rocks, I'm thank happy you. here, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Even in Dynamic Earth the other day, like I was in that section, like the, just the first section where they're talking about James Hutton and and like I don't know if you've ever been Dynamic Earth, but they have all these rocks out, right? And then they have like in the next room, like a kind of like this globe of like the earth and it shows you over geological time what the continents were doing, and I'm just sitting watching it over and over again, like I was like, yeah, that's where Scotland was, and then that's when we had the culture. And then and there's people walking through going into the next step, and I'm just still sitting there, like watching this <laughs> like globe going about, like changing. And I'm like, that's so cool, yeah, I like that. That's the, so, the, yeah. the best part of your videos is when you're talking to something, you spot a rock away in the distance and take oh, off after mental. it. Uh, I know. It's so genuine, it's a, a yeah. genuine reaction of somebody who loves a rock. Oh, that's it, that's mm. me, honestly, it's, it's ridiculous. So, anywhere I go I, f I feel like someone should have a camera on me everywhere because I'll come out with funny things all the time about, and I make it f like you know educational but funny at the same time and I think that's why people like it and that's why a lot of people like kind of it's obsessed natural. with me oh, it's, that's, it's, it's just brilliant. very very you're natural you're very passionate about it you're very like enthusiastic about it and you're, you're yourself and that's what makes a difference is instead of trying to pretend to be someone else and being like this rock formed during the Carboniferous period I'm just like oh right so this rock was back in the day like you know for like and it just comes out like naturally and I just talk the way I talk the now like I think it just kind of you know and people just are kind of drawn in and they're like that guy those make me like rocks because yeah. I have had that a lot of people are like I've never thought about rocks before I met you and now I'm looking at them everywhere I go and I'm like yeah see people forget about rocks and see, then well, you... that's a talent in itself yeah. bringing something to understand other things it's, it's a yeah. talent so um, before we finish up what's next for you? oh my goodness um, wait a minute have a drink <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> I took that at the wrong time um, I've got a few things that are like I'm planning over the next like few months. It's just really hard to fit them in because, as I've said before, I work full time and my job is like could you see this, my main income. Could you see this turning into a, oh, a mainstream potentially, income? Potentially, yeah, I think so. It, it will do eventually. Like, but I'm just trying not to worry my work too much because they're like, Louise, you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I'm not going to leave. Um, I want to start taking people on geology tours across Scotland. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, you said online the that they're fully year. booked out. I mean, in oh, terms people, of like, they're, they're, queued, they're, they're waiting for years to come for these tours. Especially yeah, well, that's it. that's what I've heard from the other tour companies like that are based in Scotland. Like, and also that's just to do with the history of Scotland. There's no one that really offers what about like you know people forget about the rocks. Mines are going to be offering the geology of Scotland, mm -hmm. like the geology of the NC five hundred, the geology of the Isle of Sky, 